Functional strategies. This is where we can take a little bit, it's basically uh, tweakology. Our strategy to tweak something to get the desired chain reaction. And remember what I mentioned before, these things all build upon one another. Okay, so it's ultimately, what do you want the body to do to make the desired effect of function? Okay, so there's four uh, basic uh, strategies that we employ that you read in the book. Besides the, the, the uh, strategy of tweakology, we have strategy of success. What can your client do well without dysfunction or pain? Particularly pain. If somebody has knee pain and lunging forward gives them knee pain, we have to tweak the exercise in order to decrease their knee pain. That could be a number of things, such as maybe a posterior lunge will decrease their, their pain in their knee. Maybe a, a reach with the arm will decrease their pain. Find this uh, functional threshold of success. You work that threshold close to the threshold of pain, but not exceeding the, the pain threshold. That will allow them to progress. If somebody is painful on, on a lunge, a forward lunge, but they're doing fine on lateral lunge, we can go laterally. It's a, it's a plain tweak, but we can incrementally go to our functional compass, if we lunge to the 90 degrees and then we lunge progressively to our lesser degrees on up to that zero degrees and without pain, we have just taken them through a progression of functional success until they can actually lunge forward without knee pain. Of course, using our hands is, a, is another strategy of top down, bottom up. So if I, if I reach with my hands, I have less excursion of the knee. I develop more strength or more involvement in my hip, going back to the, the, plane, the, the plane tweak of uh, joints, or rather the movement tweak of joints. So if I take a step forward and I reach forward with minimal knee excursion, I actually just did a, did a lunge, but I involve my hip musculature to, to support my knee. So that's top down. I drove the body with a reaction, a driver of my arms top down, which is another uh, strategy is drivers, using my arms, using my hands. Uh, the strategy of, uh, of friends in, friends out. That's another example. This is, gets a little confusing. What are friends? What are not friends? Friends are how many muscles, how many joints can we involve to help a movement out, and then progressively taking those friends out. For example, if I think my hip is the friend, because that's the powerhouse of all muscles, and I'll use the, the example of lunging, if I lunge forward and reach forward, I got more friends. I got the gluteal muscles, the hamstrings, all the powerful exercises to help that knee be stable. Progressively, if I start reaching up the chain at waist level, shoulder level, ultimately overhead, I get less friends, meaning the hip, and it kind of isolates the knee a little bit more, integrate, isolates the knee. So the knee, the quadricep and the calf have to do more work. They're weaker muscles, potentially, generally I'm going to say that, especially with knee pain. But as we get there, that's going to prove that we've done the proper success to feed in the friends and take out the friends. It's a concept you have to kind of get a hold of and understand what, what I mean by that. The more the, we get into the muscles and you understand the function of muscles and how they integrate throughout the whole chain, the more that strategy is going to make, uh, make sense to you.